In this video, we will learn all about the extra tool. We will go through the different functionality of the extra tool, plus some applications of the extra termination option. We will go through extrusion to a certain distance, extrude through all, extrude to next surface, extrude between the two planes, and lastly, extrude to a certain surface. Let's explore the different functionality of the extrude tool. First, open up the extrude tool.ipt inside your Autodesk Inventor. You will see this chart, this sketch, a circle and a rectangle, the size of 70 by 60 mm. Now, where can I find this extrude tool? It's at the 3D model tab under the create panel, extrude tool. Click on it. An extra tool dialog box will appear. Here, you can change all the settings over here to come up with some solids or surfaces. So let's try one. Under profile, you have to select plus sketch here and here. For the output itself, there's two options. One is a solid and second is surfaces. So if I were to change the option to surface, you notice that a preview of the surface has been created. Let's change it back to solid. Select the profile again, and then the distance, the extents consists of a few functions inside it, which we will cover later on. And this is the amount of distance that you would like to input the value and these are the directions of where the solid is supposed to create. First, direction number one is being projected downwards. Let's say we want to extrude, create a solid above the sketch. We change it to direction number two. On the third icon is the symmetry icon. So from the sketch plane, they will just divide half, half. In this case, for a distance of 10 mm, they will divide 5 mm upwards and 5 mm downwards. Lastly, the asymmetry. So you can see here, there's two distances of different values that you can apply. The first distance 10 mm is pointed downwards and the second distance is pointed upwards. Let's change it to maybe 15. You notice the distance change it accordingly, and you can swap it. Lastly, you'll notice this new solid. New solid is applicable for multi-body model. But for this case, I keep it simple. Press OK. Now you have just created your first extrusion. Great. Next, let's go To the extrusion to a certain distance and extrude through all. So we are applying an extrude cut of this slot with a distance of 15 mm and then modify this extrusion to through all. So this is the completed body that we would like to achieve the result. Now please open up your extrude extend distance and all dot IPT. So other than just extrude to here, you can press E on your keyboard as a shortcut to extrude to. Under profile, select the sketch that you want to use. And now we like to cut the material here. So first you have the join icon which means to add material. Second, cut, remove material, very straightforward. Lastly, is the intersect, means when two solid bodies intersect, only that intersection will be left behind. Let's select cut. And for the distance, change it to 15 mm. The direction is correct, press OK. So you have done your first extra cut function. 
Second, we need to modify this extrusion number four to cut through all the way. Go to extrusion number four under the model browser, double click on the icon. And under this extends, change it to all. Preview it, make sure it's correct direction, and once you're happy with it, press OK. So this is extrusion to a certain distance and through all. Let's move on. Next is an extrusion to a certain uh, extrusion to next means to a certain surface. We will there's a sketch over here where we have to measure the distance between this surface to the axis of this cylinder. Next, we apply a distance extrusion using the amount that we have measured and lastly we modify the extrusion to change it to mix and we'll see the rationale behind it. Now please open the extrude extend to next.ipt before we begin this. Now let's go into the measure tool. Under inspect tab measure panel you see a measuring tool. Click on it once. We like to select the work plane that this sketch has been created on. So this is sketch number four. We we'll click on work plane number one. You see there's a preview to that on the graphics window. So yeah, click on it and just click on this cylinder. So automatically, Autodesk Inventor will give you a value of 80 mm the distance from this plane to the axis of it. So please take down, take, take note of this. Press the escape key to reset. Now apply the extrude key, the extrude tool. Press the E key on the keyboard. We like to add material, but the direction is wrong. So we have to swap it. Click on direction number two and apply 80 mm. Press OK. Now, this portion looks yeah, correct. However, let me show you something. This is an offset work plane. Let's change the value of the offset. To change the value, double click on the icon of the work plane number one. Let's double it up to 160 mm and press enter. You notice that the extrusion number 5 extends only to the distance of 80 mm and there's a void right in the middle here. So that's not what we want. Let's undo that change of uh, offset value. Under extrusion number 5, click on the double click on the symbol again and instead of distance extend, change it to next. Automatically, they will move it to the nearest solid body. Press OK. And now we will change again the value of the, the offset the, uh, work plane. Double click and change it to 160 again. And you will notice that it extends all the way to this bigger cylindrical body. So depending on your design intent, please use it wisely. Let's undo. And yeah, we come to the end of this portion. Let's move on. Item number four. Okay. In this example, you have to apply a radial and diameter dimension on this arc in sketch number five. After that, we need to create some offset planes from this surface upwards by 84 mm and after that, we will create another offset by 48 mm. Third, we will, do, we will perform the extrude cut between these two planes. And in the meantime, we will try to toggle the construction on and off in a sketch. So please open up your extrude extent 
between dot IPT. Now, let's change, let's apply a dimension to this curve. If you notice, it's green in color, which means the sketch is not fully constrained. So just hover over sketch number five to see the preview. Double click on the icon. And now under dimension, click on this arc. And you notice that it straight away gave you a radius 60. But what if we want to apply a diameter instead? Right mouse click under dimension type, change it to diameter. Automatically, it will just give you a value of 120. So depending on your design intent, depending on your drawing, if it's provided as diameter, please add the dimensions as the diameter instead of a radius. So let's click one more time, press take. And let's finish the sketch. We will now create an offset plane. Rotate the view, click on plane. You must left click, hold, and drag it upwards. Left click, drag it upwards. And we need to apply a negative 84. Now, recreate again a plane. Plane, click on this surface, and drag it upwards. Now it's minus 48. Enter. Good. We have done and created our offset planes. We will now perform the extrude function. Press the E key and try to select the profile of the curvature. Oh no, we cannot select it because this is an open profile. If you notice, only one of the up is present, it's not a closed entity. To remedy this, go back to sketch number 5. Enter it by double clicking sketch 5. You notice that this circular feature is in construction mode. It's presented by very tiny dash lines. Construction lines usually are not involved in extrusion. Therefore, we need to change it to normal, normal line. Click on this circle, and on the top right-hand corner, you will see this construction. Click once to deactivate it. The thing changes to a solid line. Click Finish, and now let's try the extrusion key again. Press E, select your profile, Oh, we can select now. And now we want to apply a cut function. One, change this to cut. And under the extend, change it to between. And click on this first plane and click on the second plane. And press OK. Great, we have done it. How to change the plane? Double click on this extrusion number six. Let's say we want to extend the cut all the way down. So click on this cursor and click on the last surface. And if you like the preview, press OK. So that's how you change it. Last will be this portion that should extend to a surface. So this is the result that we want to achieve. Let's open up the file, extrude access, extend to .ipt. You will be presented by a big cylindrical shape, the base, and a rectangular sketch. Press E, click on the profile, and we will extend it to the top surface. So click on extend to, and click the top surface. And press OK. That's it.